Hello, welcome to Connection Point Collabo Project again. My name is Rachel Bacopo. I am the founder of the Collabo Project. And welcome, we are in video three, a series of videos explaining what this website is about, what the Collabo Project is about, and the stories that brought us to this point, right, of this website. And so in this one, we're talking about Convoy of Hope. And so Convoy of Hope was the, the staple, the turning point of this whole adventure, right? So last video we were talking about, it's not about a church, but the church coming together in unity for the community and for the cause of Christ. So if you see there's a theme here, that is what it's about. It's about us connecting together as the church as a church body as we did in Acts right and so we are God is the head a head doesn't do what a heart does and a heart doesn't do what the hands do but together we make up the body and that's something that the Lord it was a reoccurring thing and so you remember we were talking about how the Lord gave me this vision of all the churches connecting, all the ministries connecting together, and us having this one huge big God fair, like a women's fair, but a God fair. And so, um, you know, as the Lord sent me to different churches, He would prompt my spirit, I would go, right? There was one church in particular that I went to, that the Lord sent me to, and I ended up talking to the pastor and his wife about just what God was doing. And I just ha I was, had this burning desire to talk to them about this vision that I saw and everything about it. And um, Pastor Dennis, uh, Pastor Ken's wife, ended up talking to me and taking me to Pastor Gail. And she explained to me, we, we met up, and I told her that I definitely wanted to be involved in um, whatever they were doing, and I had just heard just a little bit about this, this connection um, that was taking place with this Convoy of Hope. We sat back there, she told me her vision, and I told her mine, and she said, you know, it sounds a lot like what we're doing here, and they had done it the year before. I didn't know. I had no idea. All I knew is that Convoy of Hope uh, was supposed to be a part of this vision and how I always thought that it was just a disaster relief program, you know, where they would go and they'd help people with disaster relief. But Convoy of Hope is so much more than that. And they help uh, the more poverty stricken places come together and uh, they help facilitate this um, one day event that happens um, every year now here in Wichita. And so I got to be in it the second year and because of my enthusiasm and my excitement um, I ended up helping with the prayer tent and that is the last tent that they go through. Um, it, it's a tent that they have to go through um, in order to get out and get their groceries. And so we would pray with them and, uh, you know, read scripture if they wanted us to. So it was really, really great um, to be a part of that. And I was so honored and I felt so, so blessed to be a part of that. I was also a part of the follow-up and I I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> and um, you know it was, it was only the second year and so you know how when you when you start something and um, you know sometimes it takes uh, a couple times to perfect that and to kind of work out the kinks and everything and and I remember just feeling so much excitement, but also this weight because I didn't know a lot of the different churches and part of my uh, position there was to help lead in this follow-up. And I was putting the people 
in like whatever zip code you know they they lived in um i would help connect with connect them with churches in their zip code in their area and and so i wasn't sure what i was doing and the lord just kept saying you know rest in me trust me but i didn't trust myself because i was thinking oh my gosh lord what if they're like these churches are kind of off what if their doctrine is off and and the lord just kept saying just trust me just trust me well because of that anxiety because of that fear the fear paralyzed me and there wasn't a way to at that time to connect easily with different churches depending on the zip codes and all this um there wasn't a way to easily uh connect and have this one-stop shop right so if you if you're following the story you kind of understand these different stories each play a huge role in what god is doing with the collabo project and it's it's pretty cool so i realized for one you have to have a team right you have to have uh you have to have that collaboration you have to have that connection of people with like mind you have to have there's different um there's different parts of the body that do different things right and so that's what the lord started to show me in all this is that the heart doesn't do what the he the the hands do right the hands don't do what the feet do but together we just we make up the whole body and so we have to rely on God first and foremost but we have to rely on each other and so what the enemy has tried to do is separate us from our beliefs um, and I mean there's so many people there's so many different denominations that love Jesus if you love Jesus, I want to speak to you because you are a significant part of the body and God is calling us to rise up together in unity and it's so beautiful because it's happening. And so that is one of the, one of the biggest things about all this is just following up with people and connecting with people, having a one-stop shop to connect with these different churches. So there are links on the website. I began to, over the past year, the Lord gave this big vision, okay? This website is like Noah's Ark. You know how Adam, you know, he named all the animals and they were two by two, all went in, right? This is like that Ark. It's, it's the bigger picture. And so the goal is to have all of these different denominations on here. Ones that love Jesus, ones that want to connect, ones that want to collaborate and come on board together so that, um, so that we can connect in this one-stop shop in Noah's Ark. Probably should have named it Noah's Ark, but I'm sure there's a thousand Noah's Ark. Noah, Noah Ark, Noah's Arks. Anyway, you know what I mean? So, um, let me just encourage you. Let me put this out there. Connect. Let's connect. Um, let's see where you fit into the body, into the website. And all, all I really need from you is just your support in getting the word out there, letting people know what this is about. And, you know, because if we're all using this website, then we're all going to be on the same page and we're all going to be in unity. Number two thing that um, I'm asking is prayer. Above all else, I know that every single one of you, I pray for you. If I have come in contact with you, I pray diligently for you because I know that it is hard and the enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy every ministry out there. He wants to bring disunity into the body, but we're coming together and we're saying, no, it's not okay. We are going to come together despite our differences, despite um, anything that the enemy would try to use, right? 
we're going to come together of like mind and like heart and network. We're going to collaborate. We're going to see how we can come together and see God's vision, to see his heart, to feel his heart in this and learn more about each other. Because when you know your brother or sister and you truly know who they are, not just a facade, not just every Sunday coming to church, when you truly know that person, you know their heart, you know their heart's intentions, God can work wonders in that. So I can't wait. So stay tuned. We're on to video four.